Yo, it's me, your boy, Shonen Boy, here today. I'm here today to review the latest chapter of One Piece, chapter 1062, Adventure in the Land of Science. So this cover page is very interesting. Um, in Chocolate Town, the um, the whole um, you know, town has been iced over. Um, I don't know what happened to this town. Um, probably our Kiji came through and um, has uh, froze um, you know, all, the whole town of Chocolate Town, and there's some people who are frozen and they are definitely dead <laughs> so uh you know um Aokichi has definitely uh you know not playing around or anything like that and uh this is uh very uh interesting because you know why is Aokichi in a whole cake island um is he there to steal a rubbing of uh big mom's poneglyph the rio poneglyph um is he there to take over the whole cake island i highly doubt that Aokichi could take over whole cake island by himself maybe there's other members of the blackbeard pirates with him um who knows um, but that's very interesting that uh, Aokiji is at Whole Kick Island, and uh, I'm very interested to see where this is going to go um, with this uh, cover you know, series. So yeah, um, maybe he might run into the Germa, who knows, but uh, yeah, but that's very, um, but that uh, anything could happen, honestly, right now um, with this, uh, you know, this revelation and everything like that. Um, but yeah, I'm just really interested to see where this is going to go. So yeah. But anyways, let's get into the actual uh, chapter. So, uh, we get to see Vegapunk, and we see, uh, you know, Frankie, and he's gushing about, you know, meeting Vegapunk for the first time, and he's like, oh, you know, I'm your biggest fan, um, you know, I have researched all of your research on your home, you know, island, I was there for two years, and I, you know, did all you, these inventions because of your notes and everything like that, and I'm really, you know, um, I'm really psyched to, uh, you know, meet you and everything like that. You, I'm, I mean, uh, you're my idol. Um, I'm your biggest fan and everything like that. And then, uh, you know, uh, Sanji has the hard eyes, and uh, Usopp is like um, gushing over the big robot. So yeah. And then uh, Vegapunk introduces herself, and uh, you know, um, and Robin says, uh, "This can't be Vegapunk because you know, Vegapunk is always meant to be an old man." Uh, so you know. Um, Robin knows some things about Dr. Vegapunk. Um, I'm not surprised because she has been with the Revolutionary Army for two years, so she probably knows some inside knowledge about you know um, who Vegapunk is and everything like that. Um, and yes, yeah, so uh, Vegapunk introduces herself and she says, "Yes, I am not the actual Vegapunk. Um, I am just a clone or a robot um, of um, of him." And there's like um, later on the chapter, they tell us that there is. Six Six, um, well, there's six different Vegapunks, and then there's the head, um, who is actually the real Vegapunk. So there's actually like seven Vegapunks. So yeah, and this is one of them, and this is um, Punk Two, um, and it's called uh, Lithian, Lithian, and um, and there are different types of um, there's different uh, you know, Vegapunks, and they all have different names and everything like that. So uh, yeah, uh, we, I'll get into that later on in the chapter. So yeah. And uh, Vegapunk uh, says to the rest of the Straw Hats, like, this is not a rescue. Um, you guys better prepare yourselves because um, they're about to come out of the water. And, uh, and uh, Nami's like, what's coming out of the water? And then all of these uh, Sea Kings come out of the water and, uh, you know, and, uh, and surround uh, Vegapunk and everything like that and the Straw Hats. And uh, these Sea Kings look really interesting and really cool. Um they all have like all these different numbers and they all um you know are robots i'm assuming um and uh we've got like a tiger we've got like a a bear a giraffe <laughs> and we've got like a wolf and everything like that and there's all these different types of sea kings and they look really cool and i like their designs and uh the the artwork is really good so yeah and uh, Frankie's just like gushing. He's like, oh my god, this is so cool. And uh, Usopp's just like, um, you know, this is cool, but like my um, my fear is, you know, starting to take over now because he's scared of the uh, Sea Kings. And uh, Zoro looks at one of them. And, uh, you know, Nami's like, oh no. And Brooke's like crying. And uh, yeah. So yeah. 
And then, uh, um, for some reason, uh, Zoro, um, because he's probably wet, uh, um, Zoro takes off his shirt, and uh, they also um, try to, um, they ba um, they basically talk up Zoro, saying that, like, oh, you know, the Straw Hats, they were they were just dubbed a newly emperor team, um, like a new emperor, like, you know, a crew, and uh, this is Zoro, one of their heads, and he um, he has a bounty of one billion, um, um, one billion, one hundred um, million, and 11 so yeah and they're really gassing up uh you know zoro and everything like that so uh yeah <laughs> and he's like look how calm and collected he is and everything like that so they're really gassing up uh you know um you know zoro and they also um you know talk about you know robin as well how um you know don't mess with robin and um you know and look it's robin the you know the demon child so yeah and then uh, Zoro says something very interesting. Uh, you know, Zoro says, "I am you know, uh, Vegapunk. There's something I want from you. Um, you better play nice." So why does Zoro want something from Vegapunk? I wonder what it is. Uh, maybe it has something to do with the uh, Mihawk Seraphim. Who knows? But yeah, but um, Zoro has something that um, you know has something to ask Vegapunk or something like that, and he wants something from him. So. I'm interested to see why Zoro wants something from Vegapunk. So yeah, um, if you have any uh, theories or suggestions, put that in the comments down below. So yeah, uh, moving on. So we move over to uh, Bonnie, uh, Luffy, and uh, Jimby, and uh, you know Chopper uh, team now, and we see the back of uh, Vegapunk, the uh, Pe um, Vegapunk one, uh, the actual Vegapunk, and he says, uh, "Bring in the Straw Hats. I'm very interested um, in their crew." So the Straw Hats are gonna go to where Vegapunk is, and we see he has like a helmet on with like a radio, but we don't see him at all. Um, he um, he he has his back to us, and uh, yeah. And then we uh, we get some more insight on Bonnie. Uh, so we get a little bit of a backstory for our Bonnie, not much, but our Bonnie is the uh, daughter of uh, Kuma, and uh, and uh, she tells uh, you know Jimby uh, about Kuma and why she's here on Egghead Island. Uh, she is here to meet Becca Punk and ask him um, you know why he uh, did all this to her father, you know Kuma, why um, he took away. Um, his uh, emotions and all the uh, and all of his like personality and made him into a cyborg and why did he do all this uh, to uh, Kuma and uh, you know um, Jimby's like that's awful how could he do that and uh, yeah so this uh, throws a bit of a wrench into the whole theory that uh, you know Bonnie was act and was uh, you know Kuma's mother um, there was two things uh, either Bonnie was Kuma's uh, mother or Bonnie was uh, the daughter of uh, Kuma, and that's the one uh, that um, that we know of now. Uh, that Bonnie is the daughter of Kuma, um, and I'm not too sure how old Bonnie is, you know, now because um, Bonnie uh, she can manipulate her age and everything like that. She can turn into a little kid, at t I mean, in her twenties, and then into an old lady, um, and we don't really know her an actual age. Um, but a lot of people thought that her actual, you know, age was the old grandma where she went to Marijua and she looked like the uh, Sorbet Kingdom, uh, you know, queen. Um, I think that's what it was, yeah. And uh, a lot of people thought that was her actual form as the old lady. Now, I don't really know if that is, uh, you know, if that is the... You know, is that going to be um, how old she is? Because um, we don't know how old Kuma is um, because he probably stopped aging because he's turned into a robot and um, and he stopped aging. Um, and I don't really know how old, you know, um, how old Bonnie is. So she might be the old lady, but I can't see that, honestly. And I think that she is probably um, the the form that we see her now is her actual form, and she's in her late tw I mean, in her in her twenties. So yeah, so uh, that's her connection to our uh, Kuma, 
um, um, it's very, um, uh, I'm very interested to see uh, where this is going to go, uh, what's her backstory with uh, you know, Kuma, uh, she said that she has been to this island before as a kid, um, I want to know more about Kuma, uh, why he uh, joined the revolutionary army, uh, why did he uh, you know, go to the world government and join the seven warlords, and why did he become a, uh, you know, a cyborg and lose all of his like you know memories and his personality and everything like that uh there's a lot of things that we need to find out about Veg i mean about vegapunk and also kuma and what their relationship is and why kuma did all this stuff uh, um, you know, why did he join the Revolutionary Army? Uh, why did he join the government? Why did he join the Seven Warlords? You know, and why did he become a, uh, you know, a cyborg? We need all these questions to be answered, Oda. Why are you making more questions than and, and then actually answering, um, you know, these things? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, he's making way more questions uh, than he is, um, than he is answering things. So, yeah. Um, but uh, this you know, chapter was very wordy. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so moving on, uh, then we go up the uh, ladder into uh, Vegapunk's lab, and we see this, uh, you know, th see this massive, like, you know, um, laboratory, and there's all these different inventions and everything like that, and they're all holograms. Uh, Luffy tries to grab one of the holograms that looks like a sea king, uh, um, um, you know, sea king monster, and uh, he tries to grab it, and and they think that Luffy actually got eaten, but he goes straight through the uh, hologram, and um, and you see another hologram which is just a parfait, um, you know, a dessert, and they try to eat it. Uh, Bonnie and Luffy and Chopper try to eat it, and they go straight through it. And <laughs> it's actually kind of funny because uh, Luffy, uh, you know, um, gets really angry over the uh, um the parfait being uh you know fake and he looks like he's going gear fifth and i'm like why is luffy getting so mad over this hologram like what the hell luffy so yeah <laughs> um but anyways um and then moving on uh we see another variation of uh vegapunk and it's this big uh sort of robot that has a jetpack on and it looks like mega man honestly it looks like a you know straight from mega man um and it has like different colored hair. I don't know what the color of the hair is because it's manga, but uh, it has one dark part and it has one light part. And it kind of looks like, um, um, uh, you know, the, uh, the uh, Uta, like um, the, the whole like face and the eyes and the different hair color and everything like that. But obviously it, um, the design is different. Uh, this, um, they say that, the, um, that this robot as, is as big as Kaido. So this is a big robot and uh, yeah, and it's, uh, and it's like you know, stomping around and uh, Luffy tries to go and attack it and, um, and the robot just punches Luffy and uh, Luffy gets knocked back into a machine um, and this is the uh, food creating machine and it makes a burger and um, basically um, what this machine is you press all these different buttons and they have all these different types of food and whatever button you press um, you press uh, you know, it makes the food for you, and that's and you can actually you know taste it and eat it and everything like that. It's like that um, you know that movie uh, Chance of a Meatball or, or something like that, and where um, you know there's different types of like you know they make a food uh, machine that pops out all these types of food. Um, I'll show you an image of the uh, movie that I'm talking about, um, Cloudy of Meatballs or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that's what it reminds me of. So yeah. And then um, they are eating all the food. Bonnie is like eating all the food, and uh, Chopper and um, and Luffy are eating all this food and everything like that. And then uh, Vegapunk gets really mad at the uh, Sea King um, monster type of thing, and it punches the Sea King, and it tells um, you know it tells us that he can interact with these holograms, um, and he punches one of them. And we also see another um, clone of Vegapunk. Uh, this one is sort of the same sort of design as. Vegapunk 2 um, with the hourglass sort of figure but the face is a little bit different and the hair is down to her shoulders um, and everything like that and they high five each other and they sort of um, you know um, are talking to each other and everything like that so uh, yeah 
and uh, Luffy is stuffing his face with uh, you know, pizza and everything like that. So yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Vegapunk introduces himself to uh, um, to you know Bonnie and Luffy and also uh, Chopper and also uh, Jimby and uh, you know saying that I oh, you know I'm Vegapunk and, and you know this is my um, the, the island of science and what are you doing here and everything like that and then Bonnie um, you know says you know what this isn't Vegapunk um, this is obviously a lie so you know Bonnie has actually met the real Vegapunk um, and uh, and this is not his actual body so yeah and um, you know that's what we you know, that's what we suspect so yeah uh moving on so next page uh we get to see cp0 and we get to see uh rob lucci uh stussy and also kaku uh we haven't seen these guys for a very very long time and uh they are sailing to um egghead island and they're talking about their mission that their um their mission is to assassinate uh vegapunk and they're going over the different bodies that vegapunk has um they go over, there's a Vegapunk who's the head, and they got Vegapunk 1, which is Logic, which is Shaki, um, Shaka, or something like that. Um, and then we got Vegapunk 2, which we've already seen, uh, Lethia, um, Evil, um, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and then we got, you know, Punk uh, 3, which is uh, Flare, um, Edison, and then we got Punk 4, which is Wisdom, um, Pythirius? I can't even pronounce that word, sorry. Um, and then we got Punk 5, which is uh um which is wealth, uh, which is Atlas, and then we got Punk 6, which is uh Desire, um Yorker. And uh these are the, all the different types of uh um Vegapunks Punks that he has underneath his command, and uh the head is the actual Vegapunk Punk that you know everyone is talking about, which is the old man that everyone's probably talking about. And we're probably going to see all these different variations of Vegapunk. Punk. We've already seen a couple of the uh variations. We've already seen uh number two, we've already seen uh number six as well. Um I think it was number six. Yeah, number six. Uh, we've already seen number six. Uh, and we've also seen, uh, number, uh, I think it's, um, P, oh, no, that's not actually part, that's actually not, uh, you know, that's actually not, uh, Vegapunk, he actually, um, this is just a PX, I think it's like PX 20, um, 28, it looks like a 28, uh, but it's not actually, um, one of Vegapunk's, uh, sort of, like, models, uh, I thought it was part of Vegapunk, but it's actually not, it's one of the assistants, I think, so, yeah, um, uh, so yeah, we've already, well, we, we've only seen, uh, number six and number two. We actually haven't seen any others, and we've seen the back of, you know, Vegapunk and everything like that. So, uh, yeah, and we've, uh, and they've mentioned, uh, you know, Punk 1, uh, which is Shaka. So, yeah. And then, um, and then we see, um, this is the last past, and um, this is the last page of the, uh, chapter, but we see a Kuma Seraphim, uh, a PX Kuma Seraphim, and it's got the black wings and everything like that, and this one's very tall, and it's got a star on the, in the middle of his chest, and it looks really cool, and, um, we see, um, um, the logo of the, uh, CP0, which is, uh, and they get, and we get, they give us their names, uh, I mean, uh, um, uh, uh, Luchi, Stussy, and also, I mean, uh, uh, Kaku, and, uh, we get, um, we get to see these characters, um, it's been a very, very long time since we've seen, I don't know, Luchi, and also Stussy, and also Kaku, uh, I wonder what they're going to be doing, uh, they're sailing to, uh, you know, Egghead Island, and I thought, that uh, we might, they might run into the Straw Hats, maybe. Um, they, uh, Rob Lucci might run into maybe Robin, who knows? Uh, they might run into uh, Luffy. Uh, we might get a rematch between uh, Luffy and also Rob Lucci. That'd be really cool to see a rematch between those guys. But I honestly think that Luffy can beat uh, Rob Lucci no problem. Uh, I don't even think he needs Gear 5 or anything like that. Uh, because, like, you know, Luffy is so much more powerful than uh, Rob Lucci right now. And I just don't see, uh, you know, Rob Lucci standing up to Luffy, uh, Mythical Zoan right now with, like, you know, Gear 5 and everything like that. I just don't see if they had a rematch. I just don't see them, you know, going at each other and everything like that. 
that and being on the same sort of level. But uh, yeah, but uh, this was a very good chapter. I'm really interested to see, uh, you know, what um, is in store for uh, next week's chapter with, uh, um, you know, with the CP0. Are uh, they going to run into the Straw Hats? Uh, and, you know, why are they going to assassinate um, Dr. Vegapunk? And uh, what's their, um, and you know, what's their goal? I thought the uh, world government was on good terms with Dr. Vegapunk. Um, you know, it's their, it's their head scientist. Um, you would think that they would want to keep him alive. But no, um, I guess, you know, Vegapunk maybe revolted and he uh, is going against the world government, maybe. Um, and that's the reason why um, they're going to assassinate him, maybe. Um, but uh, yeah, but I, I'm not too sure why they're going to assassinate, uh, you know, um, um, you know, Dr. Vegapunk now, um, I thought they were on good terms, but maybe, uh, that, um, they're going to assassinate him now because he, um, they don't need him anymore, but who knows. But anyways, uh, this is your boy, Shonen Boys, signing out, you know, like and subscribe, comment down below, I probably will be, I probably will be making a discussion video about this chapter, uh, maybe, who knows, but there's a lot of things that are coming out very soon, so um, I might have to hold off on my discussion video and maybe do it later on, but who knows. But anyways, until next time, I'll, t I'll talk to you guys later, and have an awesome day.